so this is my Monday morning routine. Every Monday morning is basically the same. I start the day out trying to refresh each room. And on Mondays especially, I uh, take the sheets off the bed and um, wash those uh, so that they're nice and fresh for the week. We do have an adjustable bed, so it takes quite a lot of effort to make the bed up. Uh, each side is a twin bed, so um, it requires um, either twin sheets or adjustable bed sheets. And with adjustable bed sheets, you get the two twin fitted and then you get a full king um, flat. However, I'm using the two twins because I haven't decided um what sheet set and comforter set I want in this room. So I'm using two twins to make sure that we have sheets until we get exactly what I want. My inspiration is the three pictures on the wall. So stay tuned. I am already working on finishing this room. I have the drapes and shears already. Um, and then I have a couple DIY projects to do before I'm ready to reveal the entire room. So I'm just going to take these to the laundry. Um, again, this is first thing in the morning. I literally just woke up and got a cup of coffee. Um, so you'll notice that in each room, it's dark. And I'm turning on lights and opening windows uh, for the first time that day. Also, please excuse my ugly washer and dryer. We have had this washer and dryer for years. I am secretly waiting on either one to break down. And I am going to buy brand new washer and dryer black to match my other appliances. So now I move on to the bathroom. Not too much to do in here. I do want to freshen up the uh, sinks and uh, wipe them down. Uh, I just found that it was a lot of stuff on them and it, it was just everywhere. So I'm just gonna wipe that down. And also I wanted to light um, some smell good in here. I actually use Pink Zebra, you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna make a video explaining what pink zebra is it is absolutely amazing so i like that every morning in every room uh along with a candle on the kitchen island but this morning i wanted to freshen up the toilet as well as the sink As you can see, the kitchen is basically clean. I cleaned the kitchen last night and swept the mop, but my husband and I were watching movies and we came and got a little snack and there were a few things in the sink. So after I light my candle, I am going to uh, just wash those dishes up and also unload um, the dishwasher. I don't normally vacuum um, every day, but I do 
give the house a good vacuum on Mondays. Not a whole lot to do every day of the week, but Mondays I will freshen up each room with the vacuum. I was feeling a little hungry, so I'm going to heat up one of my meat lovers, Jimmy Dean um, breakfast bowls. I love these bowls. They're so convenient. You cook them for two minutes, um, stir, and cook for one more minute. When I stir, I usually add some extra cheese, but that's what I'm doing now, putting my breakfast in the microwave. And then the sheets have stopped, so I'll put those in the dryer and put the comforter in the wash. Now that breakfast is over, I can finish the rest of the house. I'm just gonna freshen up the living room, um, vacuum. I also um, was going to, I, you know, I'm just really torn about what to do with such a large coffee table. And I'm not really sure, but while I'm cleaning up, I did take some of the items off the table and add other items just not where I want it yet, but stay tuned, y'all. That's coming too. Here's another area that I'm walking in, that I'm working on. When you walk into my front door, it just seems like something is missing, y'all. I have an entry table, but it really is more of a buffet table for the dining room. And at some point, I'm going to move that into the dining room. I like a smaller um, entry table um, in its place. And I also have a really nice um, leather, brown leather bench that I would put there. But that space right as you come into the door um, to my left, it's, it's just really like blank. I have a basket there with some extra blankets um, and um, that tall vase, but it's just missing something. So I don't know. Stay tuned. I keep saying it. More to come. Also, can I just say that I did get lazy in this area. I could have picked up the plastic, y'all, and the um, runner and vacuum, but I got kind of lazy right there. So I finished back in there and went into the bedroom and vacuumed that room. And uh, the house is smelling and feeling pretty good. As you can see, the bed is partially made up. I did put the sheets on it when they were dry, but I'm not, now I'm just waiting on the comforter set. So this is uh, probably an hour into um, straightening up the house. Uh, can I just say that it's Labor Day, so I am going to work later in the day. I'm usually at work at seven, so my body's still on that time, so I have plenty of time to get up and freshen up the house. And here I'm taking these curtains down. I just don't like them, they're the wrong color. So I'm gonna send them back and get ones that will match the curtains that are going in the dining room and living room. So now I'm just checking out um, my work to see if it's anything 
that I missed. Um, and also to just give you a sneak peek of what the house looks like right now. Um, some changes I'm going to make. I'm not in a hurry to purchase anything. I want to make sure that I get exactly what I want. And for the most part, I do have furniture pieces that I want. Um, we love this comforter. It's very comfortable. We're not a real formal dressy dressy or a glam type of person. Um, so a lot of the bigger pieces that we have are just what I want for the house. Um, but there's some things that I will be adding and decorating. <laughs> hey, Greg! Hey! Clayton Holmes is back, y'all. And who is this? Dion. Hey, Dion, how are you? Mm -hmm. Clayton Holmes is back, y'all. They came to replace a window that is, was broken. Um, and I do want to say that um, when I called Greg about the window, it wasn't a problem. They had one in stock, so he knew he was coming back to finish some repairs and so he brought the window he also rep um repaired or uh, replaced a blind two blinds that um uh, we actually were supposed to have blinds at every window so we needed two more sets of blinds um and also there was a light fixture in the dining room that had to be repaired and my front door as you can see dion is working on the door um one side wasn't flush so you can kind of see a gap so they fixed all of that and they were in and out they were out as quickly as they came they are just absolutely amazing i can't praise clayton homes enough i know that there are a lot of people or a few people that have commented that they had a bad experience you know, I'm really sorry about that, but I had a great experience with Clayton Homes, and I would purchase from them again. So thank you so much, Clayton Homes. You guys have done an absolutely amazing job for me and my family, and we appreciate you, and thank you so much.